Hi, Linton here, and this is Sketch and Tell. I'd like to, again, try something very difficult, and that is to uh, go through technology, have a look at you, and have a go at doing your portrait. If you want to also uh, just pause here and get some art materials, uh, this is also a time perhaps you might just want to watch and uh, see how I do this portrait and maybe give it a go yourself. When I begin, I always like to start with some shapes. And so as I look at your head, I'm seeing that it's not a triangle shape. It's not a square shape. It's not shaped like a sausage. In fact, all of our heads are shaped like an egg. We call that an oval. And so I'll begin with an oval shape. And then as I look at the rest of your body, I'll think of a vegetable and I think we will go for a cucumber shape. So let's put a cucumber shape here. Now, the shape is really just to get us started. You can change it, you can play around with it. The more important thing is to have fun with colours. Now out of all the colours in the world, and there are a lot of them, you really need to remember three very important colours. And they are red, yellow and blue. They are called our primary colours. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But let's start with blue. And I'm going to uh, give you a just a little bit of a blue tinge to your hair. So we'll put some blue up here. And I'll put a blue uh, stripe on your neck. And we'll put a little bit of blue down in your body here. Now the second important colour is yellow. So I'll put a, a yellow stripe on your neck and we'll put a bit of yellow here on your body. The third very important colour is red. Now I'm only going to use a little bit of red. I'll come back to the red shortly. So let's put a little bit of red here. Now the reason these three colours, blue, yellow and red, are so important is that you can have fun mixing them together and make a whole lot of other colours. So if you mix yellow and red together, you come up with orange. If you put more red in, it's going to be more of a red orange. If you put more yellow in, it's going to be more of a yellow orange. And of course, you can use black and white to lighten or darken these colors. But let's uh, start with an orange. Now I work with soft pastels, so my colors have already been mixed. So I have an orange here. So let's put a little bit of orange on the body and a little bit of orange on the neck. If you take red and blue and mix those two together, you come up of course with purple. I've got um, a very nice, bright, ready purple here. So we'll put a little bit here in our body, just down here. And a little bit up here in the hair. But while I'm doing the hair, I have noticed that your hair is brushed back. So let's uh, do a little bit of uh, brushing and we'll just sort of brush the uh, hair back a little bit. Here we go. Just put lots and lots of little strokes there and we'll come back here and a little bit there and a little bit here on the neck. Let's now mix, if we go blue and yellow and mix those two together, of course we come up with green. Now I uh, am going to use a couple of greens. I've got a nice bright green and I'll go for a bluey green. So let's start with green and I'm going to give you some green arms. So let's put a, a green out here. There we go. And I'll put another arm out here. Now I'm not sure if you have ever noticed, but if you look behind you, I can see there is a 
tail there. So let's uh, paint a tail on and we'll put a tail down here and then let's go for that uh, bluey green and we'll just put a little bit there on the inside of the arms and we might even go for another blue green which is uh, slightly more blue and uh, we'll put a little bit there a little bit here in the arms again. Now you are sitting down so I'm going to uh, put a chair here for you to sit on so let's grab some colors and we'll have a chair around about here and we'll put a little bit of uh, lighter color on there and because it's wood we'll put a little bit of uh, darker brown right there now I'm also noticing that uh, you have not you're not wearing shoes and I can see the color of your toes and they they look pink to me so let's go for some pink color we'll put a couple of toes there and a couple of toes there let's now go back to uh, the red and the orange I am going to just put a little bit more red here nice bright red and your eye the color of your eye if I look closely I can see that it's it's red and orange so let's put uh, a red circle here for the eye and a little bit of orange inside like that just around the edges and eyes are very important so I'll put a little dot in the middle and a little bit of uh, detail around the eye and it's always good to put a little bit of white a little white dot in the eye it makes the eye come alive so we'll put a little dot in there like that then I'll come onto your nose and I can see you've got a really nice looking nose there so we'll put uh, just a little nose down like this we'll color it in and a, a little bottom lip there let's put a little bit of orange in and we're nearly done I've just got two more colors I'm going to go back to the white and the black and this is where we uh, just put our final details in we'll put a nose hole there I'll fix up your uh, toenails there we go and we'll just imagine that uh, there's a little bit of a breeze blowing through uh, here so we'll just ruffle those feathers up a little bit and uh, just put a little bit of white here on your nose and the top of your beak nose sorry <laughs> let's uh, finally put a nice little bit of uh, nice bright green there on your shoulders and this is where you can give yourself a really big clap because I just want to thank you for letting me paint you in a way that looks nothing like you at all but for those who uh, know me know that I, I really like to have a little bit of fun with my painting and usually I choose an animal or a bird or a sea creature to paint someone as and I've chosen to paint you as one of Australia's most beautiful and colorful parrots we call it a rainbow lorikeet because it has all the colors of the rainbow in its body and the rainbow lorikeet I thought would be a good uh, picture to paint because well we are thinking about color but also when I look around I love looking at uh, trees and I love looking at the sky and I love looking at the birds and the animals when I uh, can find them but it's these birds that I particularly like to look at and it's usually early in the morning when I'm going for a walk there will be a whole lot of lorikeets up in the tree and not only are they colorful but they are very very uh, boisterous and noisy and their noise and their color for me is joy they seem to be joyful birds not just colorful in their feathers and I am often reminded that when I'm feeling a little bit down a little bit sad a little bit anxious I can go through the day feeling that the whole world might be dark that there's no color left in my life 
until I see the beautiful rainbow lorikeets. And they remind me that even though things can seem a little bit dark and scary and we can be anxious, we are surrounded by beautiful things. And of course, if you look for them, they're there, whether it's in the flowers, whether it's in the colour of the leaves, whether it's in the birds and the feathers, whether it is even just the colours in the bark of trees or the colours in the sky. When I start noticing the beauty and the colour that's all around me, it really lifts me up. And it puts a smile not just on my face, but a smile in my heart. And I start to think about the one who is behind this amazing world that we live in. And I know sometimes it's hard to imagine what God is like. But I think a very good place to start is to look at what God has made and is making new every day. And every day is full of surprises and wonderful things to take notice of. And as I think about the rainbow lorikeets, I think, wow, God is a great artist. He really loved to splash the color around when it came to the rainbow lorikeets. I also, when I see something beautiful, I like to respond. I like to do something about it. Sometimes I just say thank you. Thank you God for what I'm looking at. Maybe sometimes I get some paper and some colors out and I like to paint what I'm looking at. Or I might like to share it with someone and just say, I saw this today, have you seen it? And it might make them stop and see the beauty that you are looking at. Whatever it is, I just encourage you to have a look around and see the wonder and the beauty that God has placed all around us and to remember to say thank you for it. Have a colourful day. Thank you.